Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of our very popular products, which is our ZDA 4.6 DSP amplifier. And as you can see from the front, it is an 800 watt peak amplifier with 400 watts RMS. We'll take a, a look inside, but first of all, what is a DSP? So a DSP is a dig digital signal processor or digital sound processor. Um, it's to allow you to process the sound that you've input into the amplifier to give you more control over output of the sound. Now with this particular product, it's a four channel amplifier with six channels of DSP processing ability. And as you can see from the front as well, um, it also has a separate add-on Bluetooth module that you can add to the amplifier, which allows you to operate the DSP from a mobile phone, such as an Apple or an Android phone. So let's open this up and have a look what we get inside. So add with all our ZD products, we have our pamphlet, which holds our QR code which will send you directly to the download section where you can download the um, computer software in order to use the DSP, also all your instruction manuals um, and then the software for the app linked to the app store as well. And then obviously we also have our warranty card. So let's have a look what actually comes in the box and then we'll take a look at the amplifier itself. Right, so what do we get in the box? So we have our main loom here. So this is a Molex connector on one end, which plugs into the amplifier. We have our power and our earth connectors. We then have a series of speaker cables. Now what we have here is we have input speaker cables and output speaker cables. So if you're using this in a ZD style connection, which would be using an OEM adapter. Now we have many of these models available specific for vehicles, so BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, etc., where they come with a specific loom, which has the correct harness on the end for your vehicle. If you purchase the aftermarket version, um, it comes with this loom, which has the speaker cable, so you can connect these into the speaker cables in the vehicle as inputs, and then you output them back to the speakers that you want to use, and that'll be on a high level input. We then also have a spare fuse and the screws to secure the item down in the vehicle. And we then have a USB cable. Now this is the USB cable, which will connect the DSP amplifier to your computer in order for you to actually adapt the DSP and change it for how you want this item to sound. So let's take a look at the DSP itself. So again, following the nice Phoenix Gold theme, we have the badge emblazoned on the top. Following the style of all our Phoenix Gold amplifiers, you can see again, not particularly big in footprint of the amplifier, but it's a, it's a very powerful amp for its size. So let's have a look at what's on the amplifier. So as we were saying, we have our Molex connector. So that will go in this connection here. So that's your power inputs as well as your speaker level inputs, etc. We then have outputs. So your ground and earth um, on there if you want to do them separately. So if you're using the RCA inputs here and you want to power the amplifier separately rather than using the Molex, you've got a ground and a power input here. Obviously we have our fuse. Then what we have is six outputs for the RCAs here. So this can be used as a standalone DSP or as a DSP amplifier. So as we we're saying, we have six channels of DSP ability. Now, as we were saying before, the ability to use a DSP allows you to control the sound from your system. So what that means is you control things such as the crossovers. So you can set the crossovers per channel. So whether that would be changing it to play from say 50 Hertz to 250 Hertz if it was a mid bass driver, or say from three and a half thousand Hertz to 20,000 Hertz if it's a tweeter, you can do that inside the amplifier then what you can do is you can adjust things like the slope, so how quickly those will fall off. You can then do things like EQ adjustments, so you can change the EQ on the 31 band parametric EQ built in, and you can also do time alignment, so you can stage the amplifier sound system how you want it for your car. Now that's perfect across all the channels to give you the best sound that you can possibly get. As we say, it's a six channel DSP, so when used in the amplifier configuration, You've got four channels that will come out of the amplifier that you can control. You'll then have channels five and six as outputs so you can use for say a subwoofer amplifier or something like that. If you were to use this as just a standalone DSP, you then have one, two, three, four, five, six of fully DSPable channels of output. So if you wanted to then link this to say a six channel amplifier or a separate more powerful four channel amplifier and a subwoofer amplifier, you can use this as a standalone DSP. What you can then see is we've got 
the Bluetooth adapter input, and then we have the PC input as well. So that there is what you have involved with your DSP. And as I say, what we also have in this is there is many models of this amplifier that are specific to vehicle, whether that be a Mercedes or a BMW, a Volkswagen, a Volvo, Nissan. There's a lot of variants that we have of this that have a very specific loom, which allow you to connect that direct to your car, completely plug and play, no cutting of wires, non-destructive, that will give you a full DSP amplified output to your system, give you full control of the car. So that there is our Z-Series DSP amplifier fully unboxed.